All right, good morning. Uh, getting ready to start first walkthrough here for Arizona. Very good team. Um, very fast all the way around. Uh, great speed. Uh, defensively, they're obviously very, very talented up front. <clears throat> um, you know, we've got uh, terrific players in Simmons, J.J. Watt, um, Jones. You know, all those guys are good players. Buda Baker. Uh, and then offensively, a lot of speed. Uh, Murray is a, a, always a challenge because he's got uh, terrific speed, but all the receivers do a great job. Hopkins is a terrific player. Um, you know, so we're going to have to uh, uh, play good, start off fast, and play uh, play a little bit more like we're used to playing. So questions? Yeah, with their defense, what did you see about how they were able to limit Derrick Henry? Last week? Yeah, you know, they, they loaded up the box. They want to be a single high team for the most part if they can. Um, you know, they'll mix in a little bit of quarters and, and two deep, but, um, you know, there's predominantly a single high team that that wants to get uh, extra guys in the box and, and, you know, they want to make you one-dimensional, stop the run and, and make you make you throw it. Jones didn't look like a player that was coming off that Achilles injury. Was it something that Tennessee wasn't doing to adjust to him or was, was it more just like how productive he was? No, he's just, he's just a really good player. He's always been a good player. You know, he's been a great pass rusher and... So it'll be a, a good test for us. <clears throat> what did you see from their quarterback on Sunday? Um, you know, very uh, dynamic, uh, big time arm, um, scrambles. Uh, you know, they do all kinds of different things with him. A lot of different uh, things. Made made a couple good blitz checks. Wait, there was one one the one play where he had a first down. He runs all the way to the right sideline, stops, runs all the way to the left sideline, stops, and then steps back and throws the ball. For the first down, I mean, how do you, how do you defend it? Well, you gotta, you gotta be uh, pretty disciplined, and you know, in the rush lanes. But you know, saying that we're gonna keep him in the pocket all day is not realistic. I mean, we gotta do a great job, and if he gets out of the pocket, we've gotta do a great job of being on locking on our receivers. Um, <clears throat> you know, I can say we're gonna keep him in the pocket all day, but I don't think that's truly gonna happen. And then there was one pass where he threw, I mean, he went right and threw across the middle like you're not supposed to. But, it, I mean, you just got to be aware of everything. With the, with yeah, the he does. You know, there's some unorthodox things that he does. You know, I, th I mean, it looks like sometimes, um, you know, he might have a rollout to the left and he'll take off and go to the right. I mean, just, you know, it's just his the field he has for the game. So, um, yeah, we got to defend 53 yards and, are there and any? a third. I'm sorry. Are there any other quarterbacks you've ever uh, prepared for that, that Murray reminds you of? Uh, it's it's hard to say. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm sure there's some, you know, but you know, he's unique. Part of a gunslinger, though, do you look at him as someone if you put him in a bad position could? Turn the ball over, give you guys. There's possibility. I mean, you know, we we have to we have to hope that we can get some turnovers. Yeah. Like with them loading up the box and playing more <coughs> simple high safety, does that create more opportunities potentially to get the play action stuff going and, and take some shots downfield that way? Potentially, yeah. If we can get some, if we can get some, uh, you know, protection and get guys on the right guys and <coughs> you know get some open looks. How are you feeling about the offensive line just going into this matchup? The well, I, I think honestly, um, you know, as you <clears throat> as you look back on that game, you know, we can truthfully say we didn't play very good on offense. Okay, but we still scored 24 points. So, you know, if we eliminate some of these penalties that we had, and we and we do a little bit better job in, in some of the protections that we had, then I, then I think we've got a chance to be pretty good. Um, <clears throat> But um, you know we're gonna have we're gonna have to make sure that we identify the fronts, identify the players. You know they move Simmons around quite a bit, Buda Baker's around quite a bit. So we're gonna have to identify the fronts. And you know, quite honestly, it wouldn't surprise me to get the exact same front we saw last week. You talked about Freeland on Monday. But opposite him, what did you see from Patrick Peterson on Sunday? Uh, I think Pat played pretty well. Um, he didn't get much action. Um, you know. One play they caught behind him, we were in zone, but uh, um, he did fine. Are there parallels you can draw just from like how Cincinnati would go three wide to all the weapons that Arizona has of like what that challenge is going to be for the for the secondary? Uh, I, I don't understand your question. 
Just how, I mean, the way that Cincinnati used Boyd, the three receivers, and just how many weapons, how many, how they can spread it out in Arizona. Yeah, they'll, they'll a lot do of parallels the, between. Yeah, they'll do the same thing. I mean, they'll have they're in three wides a lot, sometimes four wides. So, um, yeah, it's. I mean, that's who they are. Like in terms of identifying the front, is that Garrett, Kirk, the, the whole line, everyone? Well, a, a lot of it's Garrett, but a lot of it, you know, Kirk has some it, some dealings with that too. And then part of it is. Uh, uh, the communication, you know, there's a couple times we we didn't communicate it well. We end up blocking the wrong guy, and you know, so um, yes, part of it's communication, part of it's identifying the front, but it's it's as a group. Cameron Dantzler was inactive last week. Just where is he at in his career, in your opinion? Where does what does he need to do to, to get back on the field on Sunday? Uh, first thing, he's got to play special teams. I mean, that's. If you're a backup player, you play special teams. Given yeah, her pass rush, Mike, would you like to see Kirk try to get the ball out a little bit quicker, perhaps on Sunday? Excuse me. Would you like to see Kirk get the ball out a little bit faster, given their pass rush, how quick they can get? The yeah, it's it's all it's all dictated on the on the plays. You know, you, if you got like I like I think I said the other day, you know, if you got max protection, then you can hold a little bit longer. If you got uh, if you're scat in the back, you know, you probably got to get it out a little bit quicker. So it, it's all based on. You know what what you're getting, what you're seeing, um, a lot of different different things. You know, um, I only I think he only, if I remember right, I think he only held the ball. You know, I know the reporter at halftime said, you know, I said this and that, but I think he just held it the one time. You know, they had a three man rush when we're down on the two yard line. I thought he held it too long there, but other than that, I didn't I didn't see that he was just holding the ball. Do you expect Anthony Barr to get some practice today? I don't know. We'll see how he is. I talked to him a little bit today. He's feeling better than he did yesterday, so yeah, we'll just have to see where he's at. I mean, there are things you can do to emphasize not taking penalties in a practice situation, or is that just purely left execution? Yeah, I can run them. If, these, if they jump off sides, I can run them. So I've done that before. Um, it wouldn't surprise me to do it again, because if, if we start doing them, I'm going to get mad. But, you know, like, the, like you don't have, the last person on the team, I'd guess, to, to flinch would be C.J. Ham on the first play of the game, you know, so.